Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Walk Through Wednesday where you get to see my ugly mug walk you through a beautiful camper. So hopefully they kind of counter each other. Uh, I'm going to take you through this Montana 3855BR. Before we get into all the awesomeness in here, it does weigh about 14,000 pounds, 13,800 and something, right here? Yeah, 13,800 and some pounds. But I want to take you around this unit. So we're actually at the back of the camper now, which is your main living area. So you're going to see we have a massive couch. This does fold out to a bed, but to be honest with you, it's long enough like you could sleep on it this way. You've got end tables on both sides, so you've got a place for your drinks or whatever you want. We have our theater seats right here on the opposing side. Those do have heat, massage, they do recline. They're super, super comfortable. And as you can see, your entertainment area is kind of focused around the seating, or the seating's focused around the entertainment area, I should say. Nice big TV that is on a swivel. You have your electric only fireplace. I talk about it, if you've watched any of my videos, I think Greer does it too, but if you watch any of my videos, I sing huge praises about these. They're fantastic for early season camping and late season camping. You're only using electric and they will definitely take the chill out of most of the camper, not all of it, but most of the camper, which is super, super nice. Behind the glass here, we have our Bluetooth stereo. So that's AM, FM, or you can connect your phone device to it. That will control your inside speakers as well as your outside speakers, which I'll show you when we go outside. Uh, pretty cool feature, especially if you're sitting around the campfire and you want to play some music. What I really like that Montana did is they put this black tinted glass on here so it looks nice and clean, and the remote actually works through that so you don't have to fold that down and have that out. Directly above me, I want to point out a couple of things. You do have a ceiling fan in here, which gives it a really residential feel. You also notice that you don't see the AC unit on here. So this has the quiet cool system. That means the ACs are up on top of the camper. So it's going to blow nice cold air in here, but it's not going to be super, super loud. Another thing to point out, this is a Four Seasons camper. That means it's rated for year-round camping. It's got that extra insulation and stuff. If you're not going to camp in the winter, it's still great because that extra insulation will help hold the cool in. In addition, you'll notice also that you have two different shades on this camper. You've got your gray out shade, so that's going to let some sunlight and stuff in. But you also have your blackout shade, which you can use for sun or uh, privacy. So that's pretty cool. Where do you want to go next? Let's do the kitchen next. So in the kitchen area, we've got a nice big kitchen cupboard or pantry, couldn't think of the word. We have our massive residential size stainless steel microwave. We've got our stainless steel three burner stove, nice size stove. Um, I was hoping that one had the red lights, but it doesn't. Greer, if you back up, I want to show them the island. Massive kitchen island. You've got like a 70-30 stainless steel split sink that does also have the detachable sprayer. And you have a lot of storage options here. You'll always know with the Montanas that they have a ton, a ton of storage. A lot of people live in these full time, so they've taken that into account. Over here on the other side, we have our freestanding dinette. I still call it freestanding. It's not actually freestanding. You even have an extender here that will pull out to give you some extra size here. Another cool thing to point out is your charging ports. These will actually fold down when not in use, but those have USB as well as regular charging. We have our massive stainless steel residential size refrigerator freezer. No problem with putting all your groceries in there. And then one of the really cool rooms in this 3855 is right here. So you actually have either a remote office or you've got a spare bedroom. I myself, I have a 23, almost 24 year old son who's just recently got engaged and they go camping with us periodically. This would be a nice space for them to have some privacy when they're with us and not be sleeping out in the middle of the living room. If you've got teenagers, it's also great because you know how they always like to sleep in. You can actually get up in the morning, go watch TV and stuff, have your coffee. You don't have to worry about them all sprawled out on the couch and taking up all your space. So this will fold into a bed. 
as you see, they've got plenty of storage options in here. Or like I said, if you, you know, remote working is huge now, especially with COVID. If you have the ability to work remotely, you could come in here, have a nice quiet office space to work. It's a pretty cool space. As we make our way around, show you some of these cabinets, if Greer can get around here. So there's your command center and then some additional storage for your jackets, dog leashes, whatever. What's really nice about having your command center back behind this, you don't have to worry about kids bumping it or anything else. Up above that room that I was just showing you, you'll see that we actually have a loft. It's actually a really nice sized loft. I don't know that I would want to sleep up there, but if I had this camper, I would use this for additional storage. You could put quite a few, uh, um, storage bins up here and use it for additional storage. It does have a ladder. You don't have to like jump or anything, but it's a nice space and it does have heat and AC up there. Coming back to our bathroom, we've got our porcelain toilet. What's great about the porcelain toilet, you can use regular cleaning chemicals on that. We have our sit down shower, which again is something I always talk about. I'm a huge fan of the sit down shower. We have our sink that does have cabinets and drawers below it. And then we don't have a true medicine cabinet mirror, but we do have some storage there, as well as some storage on the other side for toiletries, towels, all that good stuff. Last but certainly not least, we come to the bedroom. We've got our king size bed. This does have storage underneath it. We've got nightstands on both sides of the bed. Those do have regular power and USB power. We've got our TV here, and it is a framed-in TV, which is nice. Gives it more of a finished look, as well as a bank of drawers down below there. So, again, talking about storage, storage, storage. And if that wasn't enough, you have this massive closet here with shelves as well as the ability to hang stuff. And you have a laundry hamper, which is pretty cool. But uh, No, it's not last but not least. Just more. So... This closet, we store our extra chairs in here, but you also have washer dryer prep in here. So you can use a stackable unit or an all-in-one unit in here. Again, going back to that full time, almost actually every camper I've ever owned besides my very first one, which was a pop-up, I've had washer dryer hookup in it. And it's fantastic when you're on vacation because you've got plenty, uh, you don't have to take as much clothes, you can wash them as you go. Couple of things I wanna show you on the outside and then we'll be done. So a few things I wanna point out on the outside of this 3855 is our massive pass-through storage. It goes all the way through. You also have your central vac system in there. I forgot to point out the one on the inside. That's my bad. You've got one out here and one inside. You don't have to take your broom, your dustpan, all that stuff with you. You pull the hose out, you sweep, you put it up. This one out here helps you keep your pass-through storage clean as well as being able to uh, sweep out like your tow vehicle and stuff if you want. Also, we have an outside kitchen. So we do have a sink out here, which is great for washing the grubby paws or whatever. You've got your cooktop and then you do have a small refrigerator out here. Outside kitchens are great, especially if you've got kids, grandkids and stuff coming over because they're not traipsing in and out of the camper to get something to drink. They go right here. You'll see we've got a nice big awning. There's those outside speakers I was talking about. We've got a nice big powered awning with LED. And since you have a campsite slide, you have an additional awning there. There's also a ladder on the back. So it is a fully walkable roof, which means you can get up there anytime to clean and maintain it, check your slides, all that good stuff. Makes it super, super nice to do that. And then you are also backup camera slash rear observation camera prepped back there. So guys, there you have it, a brief little walkthrough of the 3855BR. Thank you so much for watching this week's Walkthrough Wednesday, and we'll see you soon.